Hey! Hello everyone, how are you? It's me, Lindy, and welcome to a new video! Yeah, my cow obsession is getting out of control, I'm aware, but I just... I just love it, okay? Today I am going to do something about this face that I have stuck on my body. Because today I'm going to try out some TikTok makeup hacks that I've seen floating around on the internet. And also, this video is kindly sponsored by... Maven Beauty! Ooh! 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 And Maven Beauty is a 100% vegan and cruelty-free makeup brand. And I absolutely love their products. So I'm going to use them today to do some makeup hacks. So yeah. Let's get started! Ooh, ooh, ooh! So, first makeup hack is something that I've actually known for a while now, but for some reason it just gains like popularity every few years. I don't know what's going on, but it is this lipstick under your foundation hack. So the idea behind this is that you get like a very natural rosy cheek because you're putting it underneath your foundation instead of on top of it. Um, I've never tried it before, but it looks good on the girl, so I'm just gonna do it. First step, prime my face and then put some lipstick on there. Blah. Then, for the lipstick. <laughs> I got a lot of options as you can see. I'm going to use the uh, Maven Beauty Diablita lipstick and it looks like this and it's such a pretty color and it looks very nice with my hair and I'm just gonna put it in all the places where I normally put my blush which is on my cheek honestly I really can't see this like going right but okay a little bit on the chin and a little bit on my temples. I'm going to use the full coverage powder brush to blend it out. Even though this is not powder, but it should probably work. Let's see. Oh god, I look severely sunburned right now. <laughs> this is giving me flashbacks to back in the day when I still went outside. <laughs> and now contour, concealer, and after that I'm going to put some um, foundation on my face. Using the cream eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna try to contour a little bit. It's very weird to do right now, but okay. The contour is also... <laughs> the contour is lighter than the lipstick. Let me use a darker shade. <gasps> That's a little bit too dark. But we're gonna put foundation on top of it. So I guess it should be darker than normal. Then some concealer. Okay, I guess I should just blend this out now. I look like such a clown. But also, I kind of like it. So, let me add some foundation to my face. And then blend it out. Wait, it does look kind of good though. Right? <gasps> what? Um, It actually looks pretty good. The only problem that I have is that <laughs> my face is like a lot more pink than my chest right now. Because once you start to blend it out with your sponge, um, the sponge actually takes on the lipstick so you basically make your entire face look more red but other than that i actually think it looks pretty nice it looks pretty natural 
I've seen people who got like completely red faces after doing this But I think you just need to, you know, chill on the lipstick a little bit Like you don't have to color in your entire face with lipstick <laughs> Just try to keep it like a reasonable amount and then it's good. Yeah, I actually really like this. <gasps> I'm gonna give this TikTok makeup hack 4 out of 5 fabulous. Because I like it, but my face is a little bit more pink than I would want it to be. So to top it off, I'm just going to use a little bit of the draped up highlighter. Cute! For makeup hack number two, we gotta zoom into my face a little bit. So, um, hey, welcome to a close up of my face. Next, a makeup hack, and this one is something that y'all have been commenting on my videos for a long time now, and it is the um, puppy, <laughs> puppy? puppy eyeliner hack. This is just basically eyeliner that instead of going upwards, which is something that I always do, actually goes downwards in like a, a round shape. So you get some sad puppy eyes. <laughs> and apparently this works really well on people with hooded eyes because since you're going downwards, the fold of your eye is not going to stand in the way of your eyeliner, which it always does with me. So. Hopefully, this is gonna work, and hopefully this is gonna look good on me. It, it does definitely look a lot easier than having to do it the way that I normally do. <laughs> so yeah, for the eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Amazing Beauty Basic Beat Define Eyeshadow Palette. And I absolutely love this one. I'm going to use the darker brown shade, and then afterwards I'm going to darken it up with the black. Small angled brush. Dip it in le eyeshadow. I can't really imagine me liking this, but don't knock it till you try it. Okay. I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. Okay, now I'm going to darken it up with some black eyeshadow. I really don't feel like this is making me look better. Okay, and then I'm going to blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, so far I'm not really feeling this look. <laughs> oh, I look so tired. But um, I'm now going to put on some mascara and I get some cute little lashes. These lashes are also from Maven Beauty, but I actually cut off like the outer third part of the lashes so I can make them smaller and I can put them on the outer corner of my eye and they're gonna fit my eye shape better. So that is what I did to their lashes. So let me apply some mascara and the lashes and then see if I'm gonna like it. I like it a lot better now. Like, I definitely think it looks way better than it just did before mascara and before eyelashes. I think part of it also has to do with the fact that, like, lashes and mascara, like, put my eyes back upwards again. <laughs> Since, of course, like, the puppy eye makes your eyes go downwards, which is the whole idea behind it. But I thought it was in a bit, like, too downward for me. So I feel like the lashes and the mascara, it just kind of like evens it out a little bit, you know? Like it just makes it go... It, it, it makes me look less dead. And I like it. So what would I rate this trend? I think I will go for... 3 out of 5 Pablos. Because I like the idea behind it. The execution is very easy, but it's just really something that I have to get used to. <laughs> so, the next 
TikTok makeup hack is how to create fuller lips. Look, the problem that I have with these fuller lip makeup tutorials that I see everywhere is that that the people in the videos already have full lips <laughs> so every time i see a video like that i'm just like does it actually work though because your lips are a very bad example for this video because they're already full like you don't need to do this hack i personally don't really consider myself having full lips as you can see <laughs> I don't have small lips either, but they're definitely not like plump and voluptuous. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if this actually works on like smaller lips. Okay? Okay. Let's zoom in again. Hi! The whole idea behind this hack is that you just like contour around your lips and then they're gonna like stand out more. <laughs> You know, because that's kind of how contouring works. So to contour my mouth, I'm going to use the um, Maven Beauty Basic Beat Soft Blend Makeup Palette. I'm going to use the um, lightest one first. I'm just gonna place this around my lips because that's what the girl in the video does. So let's see. Wait, they already kind of look bigger. <laughs> what? And then I'm gonna take a darker shade on the medium blend palette. This one I'm going to use on like the Cupid's bow. And underneath in the center. She also does it like on the sides over here. Okay, and then line my lips. And it doesn't really look like she overlines it, so I'm gonna try not to do that either <laughs> then using a little bit of foundation to like cut around the edges because <laughs> that's what she does too i don't know let me try and do that she only does it like on the upper outer corners of her lips And for a lipstick, I'm going to use the Maven Beauty Sus lipstick. And that should be it. <laughs> Do my lips look bigger? I don't know. I mean, I feel like they definitely look like a little bit bigger, but not... It's not as intense as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I mean, it's bigger, but it also just looks very messy. <laughs> I'm not really sure about this one. It just seems like a lot of effort for something that's not really that big of a difference. I mean, I could get this same effect by just overlining my lips, basically. <laughs> it's not like a really bad hack, but it just seems like a little bit too much effort for me. So I'm going to give this one two out of five. Fabulous. So yeah, everybody, this was today's video and this is the face that I ended up with after following viral TikTok makeup hacks. I really love how my skin looks. I think it looks very healthy, very glowy, very natural, not cakey, and it's just, it's just pretty. Like, I like it. Eyeshadow, slowly starting to get used to it. Still not my favorite, but definitely... Like, it's not bad either. I think I'm. it's slowly starting to grow on me, which I like. And lips, not really that special. They're just lips. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give day thumbs up. Also, again, thank you to Maven Beauty <laughs> for sponsoring this video. I will leave the link in the description box down below so you can check them out for yourself. Because it's cute. So yeah. Thank you and hope to see you uh, next time. Okay. Ciao, ciao, kiss, kiss. Ciao, ciao, bye, bye. Bye, bye.